Saratoga National Historical Park preserves and interprets the grounds where the most important battle of the last 1,000 years took place, the turning point of America's Revolutionary War, the American victory in the Battle of Saratoga. We as a country had declared our independence in 1776. The challenge was now we had to prove it. We had to prove it to the British as we were British colonies, still were in their minds. We had to prove it to ourselves. There were certainly a number of uh, people living here who were still loyal to the King of England. We had to prove it to the French. We wanted their help. They had lost the French and Indian War as you can imagine, they were not too keen to be on the losing side twice in a row, so we had to prove ourselves to them as well. It's this American victory in the autumn of 1777, uh, two days of fighting in the battles of Saratoga, September 19th and October 7th. Uh, it's this American victory that convinced France to join the war on the side of the United States. Later, Spain would get involved in the conflict. The Netherlands would be pulled into the conflict. There would be fighting going on as far away as Mysore, the Sultanate of Mysore in southeastern India. Like throwing a stone into a body of still water, the ripple effect of this American victory sent shock waves halfway across the world. There was a group of private citizens, uh, well-connected, affluent, who in the mid and later 19th century wanted to have a monument built to commemorate the American victory in the Battle of Saratoga. Uh, the cornerstone was laid October 17, 1877, 100 years to the day of the British surrender. That monument stands 155 feet tall. During the summer, uh, while it is open, visitors can climb inside the monument. 188 steps to the top of the monument for those commanding views of the area. You can see very easily uh, into the foothills of the Adirondacks north, the direction the British Army was coming in from. You can see downhill east to the area where the British had burned General Philip Schuyler's country estate. Almost all the buildings on the estate burned to the ground. You can see west to where some of the American forces had moved in to block a British strategic withdrawal northward and you can see south towards the direction of the Saratoga battlefield where the British had retreated from and where this very momentous event had taken place. To be able to walk in the footsteps of history, which this very much is, a visit to this park, you are walking in the footsteps of these soldiers, these officers. It's, it's humbling, it's awesome, it's amazing, it's touching to know that I'm standing on the grounds where these, uh, these people were forming history. Were they aware of it at the time? Probably not. Later on, they certainly would be. And many told the stories of their involvement here. And that led to the early development of tourism here which has led to this eventually becoming part of our national park system.